Welcome to this session. In this session, we will discuss about general definitions for spherical mirrors. Okay, consider a spherical mirror. Okay, this is a spherical mirror. The outward is coated with some color. The inward is reflecting surface. This is reflecting surface. This is polished surface. It is coated with some color. Okay, now. What is the first term regarding spherical mirrors? That is pole. The midpoint of the spherical mirror. The midpoint of the spherical mirror is called pole. It is denoted by P. Okay. The mid. That means the geometrical center of the spherical mirror is called pole. Okay. It is denoted by P. Next, center of the curvature. What is the center of the curvature here? As we know, this spherical mirror is a part of a halo sphere. It is part of a halo sphere. This is the center of the sphere. Okay, this center of the sphere is become the center of curvature of the sphere. So this center is become center of the curvature of our spherical mirror. It is called center of curvature. That it is denoted by C. It is denoted by C. Next. What is principal axis? An imaginary line passes through. This is an imaginary line passes through center of the curvature and pole of the spherical mirror. So this line is called principal axis. What is principal axis? An imaginary line passing through the pole and center of the curvature of the sphere is called principal axis okay next what is principal focus next term is principal focus suppose this is a spherical mirror this is a spherical mirror and this is pole and this is principal axis this is c okay consider a beam of light which is focused on this mirror and it is parallel to the principal axis this beam is passes through parallel to the principal axis and after reflection actually after reflection it meets this is meets at some point this point is called principal focus this point is called principal focus that is denoted by f okay what is the principal focus here it is a point on the principal axis where a beam of light parallel to the principal axis after reflection either actually meets at this point or appears to come that point okay it is denoted by f understand in case of concave mirror it is found before the reflecting surface okay that is in front of the reflecting surface otherwise in case of convex mirror it is behind the mirror that means the principal focus is behind the mirror this is a ray of light after reflection like this this is incident ray and this is reflected ray in case of convex mirror and now extend this line it meets at focus in meet this point that means in, in the case of con convex mirror it is behind the mirror the principal focus is behind the mirror in case of concave mirror the principal focus is in front of the mirror okay so this is the principal focus okay that means f that is here in front of in case of convex mirror it is in front of the mirror understand so, what is the principal focus it is a point on the principal axis where a beam of light is meet or appears to come from this point this type of point is called principal focus okay next what is focal length the linear distance between the pole and the principal focus the linear distance this is this distance is called the distance the linear distance between pole and principal focus is called focal length this is called focal length next radius of the curvature what is the radius of the curvature the linear distance between pole and center of the curvature the linear distance between pole and center of the curvature is called radius of the curvature it is denoted by capital r the last important term is linear aperture what is linear aperture here 
the diameter of the spherical mirror the diameter of the spherical mirror it is denoted by this line the diameter of the spherical mirror it is denoted by ab so this is called linear aperture okay so what are the important points here first one is pole this is pole it is denoted by p next one is center of the curvature okay pole and center of the curvature on the principal axis this is an imaginary line next principal focus okay this is principal focus it is depends on the mirror for convex mirror it is behind the convex mirror and for concave mirror it is in front of the concave mirror that is principal focus next focal length the length between pole and principal focus is called focal length the length between pole and center of the curvature is called radius of the curvature these are the general important points for spherical mirrors okay thank you